sorry. Hey, welcome to Gypsy Jazz Boot Camp. Today's study is on the classic Swing Jeton, a great Gypsy Jazz song uh, made popular by Angelo DeBar. Um, so, this is all mainly about diagonal arpeggios. You'll kind of see a lot of Gypsy Jazz players do this diminished run. And you might already have done it, I hope, as well. It's a very important study to go diagonal on the guitar. It kind of makes sense. It's almost like equivalent to a piano player going up three octaves very quickly, either descending or ascending. Um, today's exercise will just be ascending, and it's kind of meant for the gypsy jazz player who's just wanting to get these arpeggios under their fingertips. I have developed this kind of, um, well, I like to say I've developed this method for practice, which I use, and I have my students do it along with me in my boot camp class as we try to navigate and, you know, play gypsy jazz, which is a really fun style of playing. Uh, anyway, so the idea is this. The diminished arpeggio is the easiest way to show it. You want to think this. Root, flat 5, root, flat 5, root, and flat 5. Notice I'm just using my first finger, okay? This is super important for this approach. And you want to be... And that's just a G diminished 7 outline, okay? Uh, it can be used over many different chords, so I'm not going to talk about application quite yet. But you just want to be able to do this exercise. I'm just notice my first finger is just doing this. And it's just a shell, root flat five, root flat five, you call it the octave. And then once you can do that in time, of course, you'll hear, hear it through the swing jeton, then you want to be able to add the arpeggio. particular exercise where we're not going to go descending. It's kind of interesting. You'll hear a lot of gypsy jazz players just do that lick, that ascending arpeggio, um, but not often descending. So it's quite, kind of an interesting thing, but I think it's important to be able to go both up and down. Um, but for today, we'll just manage it up and uh, up, uh, ascending only. But here's the thing. I like to apply this, that diagonal arpeggio that's really common on the diminished on a minor six arpeggio. If you might have seen my old videos from five, six years ago now um, for Basta Dorado, Lulu Swing. But I kind of demonstrated that there. But again, here's G minor six arpeggio. It's the same concept. You have G and D. G, D, G, D. That's your outline, okay? The root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth method. Uh, notice I'm using my first finger. Then you want to add in the other notes, the flat three and the six, which is the whole step above. So that's the outline. But you got to do this first. Okay, again, this is my specific exercise. So here's G minor six. Here's the outline. Here's the arpeggio. Then we can diminish it. You get the idea. So it's kind of a really fun way to go diagonally uh, through your instrument and get that, um, I don't want to say, it's kind of angular, but it's kind of just, you know, it gets you from low to high very quickly because um, you're going through three octaves. And it, the finger pattern just makes sense to do this root fifth method. And I say root fifth, I say it liberally, but that could also be flat five if you're doing a diminished um, outline, because root flat five. But I also like to use that flat five for a whole tone sounding. So on a dominant chord, I would just do it face value. So on swing guitar, when it has that A flat seven chord, I start on A flat, and I still outline it with this flat five, but I just add a whole step above. So it's kind of like a whole tone scale arpeggio. Very Django. And that'd be kind of that sound. So it's pretty fun again to be able to do these arpeggios and to try to navigate it to the song. I've written uh, quite a few of these etudes out over different songs from Bossa Dorado, Minor Swing, Dark Eyes, 
Um, and this one today is going to be on, be on swing chiton. Um, so I think I just talked about that. For G minor 6, we're going to basically do this. For the A7, and I hope you have the chart in front of you, uh, we're going to do G diminish. So we basically stay on that one chord and we diminish it, and that gonna, is going to give us an A7 flat 9. And then for the D7 chord, the 5 chord, we go down a half step, F sharp dim. And then back to G minor 6. Notice I'm just showing you the shell. For the A flat, 7. And back to G minor. For the A7. And then for the D7, F sharp. So we're pretty much in the span of this one fret. G minor 6 for G minor 6. For the A7, we turn that G minor 6 into G diminished 7. Only one note changes. The 5 goes to the flat 5. And again, these are the type of things that should be practiced. G minor 6, G diminished 7, you flat the 5th. Okay. Now that's, you may try to make sure you understand that. It just helps you so much um, in the big picture. And then the D7, we're playing F sharp dim, and that gives us that D7 flat 9. You know what I'm talking about, this. Okay, you get those flavors. And of course, all this stuff can be applied into the top strings in different styles of improv. It's more of a concept than anything. Uh, for this A flat 7 chord, a lot of people are kind of uh, mystified by this chord, I guess, but uh, it's just a tritone substitution for D. It's just the, the five, flat 5, you know, of the, of the D7. So it's really just 5 1. And it sounds great. To, you can do the diminished still, but I, I like this whole tone lick. Over that, just to break up the the monotony of the diminished. I don't want to say monotony <laughs> because it's good just to practice a diminished. But you could just do the diminished on that you would do for D seven, and I think that's about it. Okay, so I have a play along loaded up here. Let's just do this one time with me. It's uh, this is just an online play along on YouTube, and here's the exercise uh, the A two for swing chiton. And hopefully you have my PDF in front of you, and let's do it. One, two, half notes. One, two. Fifth method. Diminish it. Down half step. And resolve. G minor six. Up a half step. That's that tritone. Diminish it. Down half step. Now let's do that again. Okay, this is all on the PDF. G minor six.
little bit of stamina. 